Now let us see the non-minimum phase system. The non-minimum phase system. Or a system with uh, inverse response. A system with uh, inverse response. If you consider a boiler, if you consider a boiler, this is a boiler. Heat is supplied to this boiler. So steam will be produced. Steam will be produced by this boiler. It has a level controller to regulate its feed flow rate. To regulate its feed flow rate. Here level has to be controlled. Why? The boiler drains out, uh, it is not safe. It, if the level is too high, it may ex uh, explode. So to avoid that, uh, the level has to be controlled. Mm -hmm. The pressure inside will increase if the level is too much. If uh, it drains, uh, then its temperature will be too much to withstand. That's why level has to be maintained. For that, a level controller will be there. Here, since it is a boiler, it will be at the boiling point. It will be at boiling point. You know that, for example, in a kitchen, if you are boiling a milk, you are boiling a milk in a stove. Huh? Then uh, its apparent height, mm, its height will be different from uh, before bo boiling. Mm. During boiling, its height will be higher than the normal height. Therefore, in a boiler, since it is at boiling point, its level the, will be apparent level only, not actual level. But anyhow, we have to control that apparent level. The level transmitter will transmit the apparent level. Based on that apparent level only, it will adjust the feed flow rate. Suppose uh, the level decreases, the level decreases. That's why to increase the level, the feed flow rate has to be increased. If you increase the feed flow rate, there will be a decrease in temperature. There will be a decrease in temperature. That's why the, it will punch the boiling point. That's why there will be apparent Decrease in level, apparent decrease in level. You are increasing the feed flow rate to increase the level, uh, to increase the level. But uh, because uh, temperature falls, uh, it, there will be a, it will punch the bubbles in that uh, liquid. That's why there will be a de apparent decrease in level. After some time, it regains its boiling point. That's why again, its level will increase. That is, this uh, initial decrease is called inverse response. Inverse response. This will happen. This is, uh, we are plotted between level versus time. We, we gave a step change in uh, uh, inflow rate uh, to increase the level. But uh, initially, the level decreases. After some time, it decreases. So it is uh, against the expectation. We expect the level will increase, but the level initially decreases, then it increases. So this will happen because of uh, right hand side zero. If a system has uh, right hand side pole, if a system has right hand side pole, then it will be an unstable system. Unstable system. If, but uh, if it has right hand side zero, there is no problem for stability, but uh, it will exhibit a inverse response. For that, uh, let us consider a system, second order system, 
uh, which has a right hand side zero consider uh, uh, this uh, system that is k1 upon tau1 s as well as uh, k2 upon tau2 s plus 1 you consider both uh, To combine these two together, it will be a single system. It will be a single system. These together represents a single system. Its output is uh, y of t, input is x of t. So we have to add these two together. That is the overall transformation. G of s equal to k1 upon tau1 s minus k2 upon tau2 s plus 1. If you combine these two together, then what you will get? t1 s multiplied by t2 s plus 1. k1 t2 s plus 1 minus k2 tau1 s. It is a second order system. If you, if uh, k1 by T1 is less than K2 T2, then it will exhibit a it will exhibit a inverse response. Let us check uh, if you bring all S together, K1 T2 minus K2 T1 multiplied by S plus K1 upon T1 S multiplied by T2 S plus 1. It is second order system. K1 T2 minus K2 T1 S plus K1. Here, when it will have a right hand side 0, if this is negative, when it will be negative, K2, when it will be negative, K2 T2, K2, T1, K2, T1 is greater than K1, T2 or K2 by T2 is greater than K1 by T1. If this condition is satisfied, it has a right hand side 0. For example, uh, uh, if you consider the system like this, uh, uh, 5, 5 by 10, yes, uh, here, three by four, yes, plus one. Here, what is T? K1? K1 equal to 5. T1 equal to 10. K2 equal to 3. T2 equal to 4. K1 by T1 must be less than K2 by T2. That is uh, 5 by 10 must be less than 3 by 4. That is 1 by 2 must be less than 3 by 4. Yes. That's why this will uh, this will exhi exhibit uh, an inverse response that you can check uh, in MATLAB. That you can check in MATLAB. MATLAB simulation. You can check in MATLAB simulation.